If we are getting into our work, our way, and th doing things that we like, it's it's very refreshing. You know, it's uh, it's what they call a catharsis. Catharsis is a cleansing. Don't go against yourself. Do things that you love to do. And if you do that, it will lead you somewhere. And someone mentioned about the blind swimmers. You know, if you keep on swimming, you know, eventually you're going to hit something. And the thing is, the secret here is don't stop swimming, otherwise you're going to sink. What is reality? Well, it, it's, it's been said, uh, reality is a vastly improved perception. Where does this perception come from? Learning. The thing that I couldn't do at one time, I'm very sensitive about now. And because I was late, maybe I have to catch up all my life, you know. Maybe that's my driving inspiration. Maybe that's the thing that motivates me, you know, good comes out of bad. I was slow. Maybe now I'm faster. Just like some people are poor, they want to be rich. But what is human? It's about, isn't it about uh, this greater reality uh, through knowledge, you know, to be all you can be? You know, to open up your perception, to be able to spot opportunity when it comes by, you know, when it crosses your path. Uh, if, if uh, you know, that's what that's what makes us so special. You know, I mean, a, you know, there's a lot of talk about intelli intelligence, and I think the best intelligence is that you cultivate your individuality, because when we really think about intelligence, we really don't know very much. How did this all happen? How did this all get here? How did the universe? Where did it come from? Where, how was it formed? I mean. These are questions that have plagued science, scientists and philosophers for centuries. You know. uh, does time really pass or just curve around us? Does, er does everything only die or is it transformed into something else? Does it become something else? Well, these are, these are great questions that I ponder. And I, I, my brother called me the ponderer, by the way. But what message do you have for people that can help them be free. I feel like an advocate in a, in a sense that I have some insight, like I'm, you know, report from the field, which yeah. is me. I'm, in, I'm out here, I've struggled with these things. Um, and so, I, I, you know, I've come to a realization. And, you know, an interesting thing, you know, people don't know what's real sometimes, what's right for them. They have a mindset that they're locked in. You know, that is the trap, the mindset. But I, I can tell you that uh, when you uh, are free to explore, you make discoveries. And I've, you've heard this thing about what's the most important thing you could do with your life. Well, I, I've read somewhere that the most important thing you could do for the, for the meaning of your life is to learn the facts about yourself. You know, to thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. The truth shall set you free. The quotes go on and on, you know. An unexamined life is not worth living. I think mm -hmm. that was Socrates. You know, no. these things are, these to me are, those are valuable things to me that I share. And I put these quotes on, on, in my website with all the sculptures. We have to believe in these quotes and tell our, you know, tell yourself, and I'm getting better every day. Every new experience, even if, whether we, sometimes we, we make money at it, sometimes we don't make money at it. It's not about money all the time. And, and even uh, uh, these conversations that we get so serious about, is that, does art always have to be so serious all the time? Mm -hmm. it's, we should have fun. You know, when I was a designer, we had fun. We threw paints there. Some days we just drink coffee all day. Some days I just take off and go to a museum. I said, I have to take a field trip there. I was still getting paid for it. If I, the main thing about that job was they didn't care if we were there or not, as long as we came out with concepts that went into production. Mm -hmm. So I could kind of come and go as I want. I'd and come then, in late, I'd come in early, stay, take off, I'd call in, I'm coming in today. Well, what's wrong? I said, nothing's wrong. I said, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to a museum for inspiration. I need a change of pace. Yeah. And then I left the company for a while, and then I came back. And I left for a year and came back to the company. I was, the job was still waiting for me. You know, I think if, you're, if you are proven, like we talked about, mm -hmm. you can't argue with success. Right. You're proven. Anybody will want you. This is magic to me that this is happening. I love this equipment and what you've done. Mm -hmm. And in, in the few years we've been working together, 
I, I feel it's, it's necessary, and like I said, if Da Vinci was alive today, he'd mm -hmm. be here doing the same thing. He'd be taking advantage of all this stuff, the technology, the digital camera, and jewelry here, taking pictures. All these things are valuable things for us to use. Mm -hmm. You know, take your life into your hands and use it. With imagination, you can become more intelligent, you see? Mm -hmm. uh, Intelligence is kind of a left-brainer in a way. If you study the books, you'll learn that, follow that, whatever it is. But with uh, imagination, it uh, is a passport to anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And imagination has no end. Logic does have an end. It's two and two make four. End of story.